Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video and this is a pretty exciting announcement. I have got a new project here in the Restosager Classic Car Restoration Garage. As my regular viewers may know, um, I have a wee boy. Um, he's just over one year old and I've been had my eye on these projects, the Toylanders, for quite some time. So um, recently there I have invested in the building instructions and this is my plan is to build him one of these Toylander 1 uh, working models. Now, I know he's only one, so it's going to take him some time until he's used to it, but I have a full-time job and I work shifts, so it's going to take me some time to build it as well. So this is going to be a long-term project, but I will serialise the build here on the channel. So please hit the subscribe button if you think this is something you'd be interested in. I bought these instructions off the Toylander website. Instructions for £50 in themselves, which is fairly expensive, but... They are really detailed, which is very good. Um, I think there's 84 odd pages, nearly 90 pages. Um, super detailed, take you through all the panels, um, give you really good advice. I've been reading through them. Um, very succinct measurements are all here. And I've been reading through them, trying to make a plan as to how I'm going to do this. I really want to do it to a very high specification. Um, I probably will use some of Toylander's own parts, such as these little corner bits, which are made from aluminium by themselves, and also the bonnet. Um, my panel beating skills are fairly limited, but I really want this to look good because it's going to be a toy to last a long time. My plan is to make the TL1, or the Toylander 1, which is based on the Landover Series 1. Um, I plan to paint it limestone, which... Um, will match the my own Land Rover, 1976 Series 3 88 inch, which is currently black but will be changed back to its original limestone. Um, so yes, it'll look like this, but it'll probably be a limestone body, um, limestone wheels and a nice interior, but I really wanted to do it to a really high specification, so I'm going to take my time and do it properly. Fortunately, I do know a joiner, so I'm going to get him to maybe give me a hand to, let me flick over here, to cut these body panels. Um, really, this is obviously going to be the most obvious bit on show and I want to do it nicely. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my hands on some materials. Um, I don't want to step on anybody's toes by putting too much of this manual on the website, but next thing I'm going to do is get my hand on materials and I'm probably going to use marine ply, which yes, is expensive, but it's fairly waterproof the last long time um, and then we're going to get cutting so buy some tools which is always exciting and get building at this so there you go new project here coming to the rest of Saga classic car restoration youtube channel please hit the subscribe button i reply to all my comments um, and follow me as i build this and also as i continue to look after the classic cars that i've got thanks for watching and hope you find that interesting see you next week